Now the toy company is very happy with our work. They think we've done a great job. And now they want us to add a mallet. So they want a mallet head and a handle to add to this toy for kids. So we're going to start a new part. Click on the plus. Create part studio. I'm going to right click over here and rename this mallet head. Enter. Okay. So I'm going to click on my sketch and front plane and press N. And I'm going to scooch it over a little bit because I'm going to draw my mallet head right here. And then I'm going to revolve it. So that's just kind of neat. So I'm going to just make a rectangle starting at the origin. Click, drag up, click. And the width of this is 0 0.875. Okay, and this drawing is on page 6 of the worksheet. So 0.875, and the height is 3. Okay, so here we go. So now, to make this uh, shape, well, you'll see in a second, but I have to add some circles. I have to add a circle somewhere here that is uh, 0.5, enter, and another one here. That's 0.5, enter, then I have to dimension the center of this circle to the top of this line. Okay, so dimension, center of the circle to the top of the line is 0.75, enter. Okay, the circle to the line, 0.75, enter. And again, these are the dimensions for the arch or circle. So I'm going to put those diagonally. And I'm going to get them off of the shape to make it easier to see. Like that. Okay. Um, now, all this is is just an indentation in here. So we need to use our scissor tool to get rid of this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Okay, so this is just our outline, and we're going to revolve this around this line right here. It's gonna look really cool if you haven't seen this before. So I'm gonna click Revolve. Here's my Revolve tool up here. And it already highlighted the part because there's only one part here. So here's where you tell it what you wanna revolve. So if this didn't show up, let's say it's there, I just unchecked it. So this is what I want to revolve. I click here and say revolve that. And then this, I want to, this is what I want to revolve it around. So I click on this line right here. And it's going to take this shape and go all the way around. Watch. So it just took that shape and revolved it all the way around the circle. Okay, which is pretty cool. Green check mark to be done. That's my basic mallet head. We're going to chamfer the edge here. We're going to click on this tool right here, the chamfer. We want it to be 0 0.063. I'm going to press tab so it accepts that setting there. And I want to do it to the top. You see it puts that little edge there. And I want to do it to the bottom. So I have that there. Click the green check mark. There's my little mallet head. Okay. Now I need a handle for it and I need a little hole to uh, put the handle in there so I need to put a hole in the side of this and it's difficult to drill or to dimension or to draw on a curved surface so I need to create an offset plane. So I'm going to make sure I'm still on my front plane press N. Okay. And Actually, I'm going to turn this a little bit so you can see better. I'm going to click on plane here. And it asks me here, if I click on this little triangle here, it says, what kind of plane do I want? And there's several different kinds. And I want an offset plane. So I'm going to make sure it's offset. And see what that does. You see this little arrow? And you see this? It actually 
lets me make a plane a certain distance from this plane. So I can put another plane anywhere I want right here. Okay, and it's parallel to this front plane. This is called plane one. And I want this offset plane to be 0 0.875. 0 0.875, enter, and check mark. Now I have a plane right here. I can draw on this plane, then I can make my hole. Okay, so I'm gonna sketch on this plane. So I'm gonna go sketch, click on this plane one, press N, I'm right there. And I want to put a hole that is 0.625 in diameter. So click on my circle tool, click on the center here. You can see I'm right in the center because I'm right above the origin. Okay, click, drag, click. And I want that to be 0.625. Enter. Okay, now this whole distance from the top of here to the top of here is 3. So if I want this hole to be perfectly centered. I, th I mean, I think it's pretty close right now, but if I want it to be exact, I can also dimension from this line to the center here and make that 1.5. That was pretty close. 1.5. Now that's exactly in the right place, and this is dimension at a 45 degree angle. Okay, and I'm going to drill this hole. I'm going to, again, I'm going to skew it a little sideways, turn a little sideways, and extrude that. And to remove something, now normally when you extrude, you extrude outwards. Um, that's kind of what extrude means, to push something through something to extrude it. But if you'll notice over here, extrude, the extrude menu has several options here. One of them is remove. Okay, so we're going to extrude, but in that direction, so it's going to remove it. And we're going to extrude that um, 0.875. 0.875 enter okay and click green check mark so now I have my mallet with a little hole in it for my handle and we want this to be brown so I'm going to right click edit brown click okay so let's make the handle and then we're done uh, new part create part studio Rename it, right click, rename, uh, handle, enter. Okay, and the handle is going to be uh, a circle. So let's do, um, let's click on the, the top plane and sketch. And N for normal and my circle tool click on the origin, drag out, and it's just a skinny handle, so it's going to be 0 0.625, 0 0.625, which is 5 eighths of an inch, so there's that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and turn that and ex uh, extrude this, extrude this. The handle is 8 inches long, so here we go to 8. Enter. Now we have a, an eight inch long handle. Okay. And we're going to chamfer the end of this also. So we click here. This one is going to be a 0 0.0625 and press tab to accept that. And then you can see what it did right there. Okay. I'm going to rotate this around and do the other side too. Click right there. And now we have our little handle with both edges rounded a little bit. Okay, I'm going to click on the, the green check mark to accept. And this needs to be brown also. So right click, edit appearance, and brown. And OK. So now we've got all these parts down here. And we need to put together our mallet. So let's go back to our assembly. Zoom out just a little bit and move this over because I want to put my mallet over here and I need to insert my mallet stuff. So here's my mallet head, click and click. Here's my handle, click and click and done. Okay, click on this because I need to kind of rotate that down this way. I can go 90, 
should be facing the right way. And these are separate from each other right now, but I'm going to click on this mate again, fasten this, and I'm going to go to the, the back of this. So I have to kind of zoom in and get in, the, in there. Turn this and get right to the middle there. And then back up and get the end, get the end of that. And solve for that. Now I had to kind of get a little wonky there for a second, so I'm gonna do that. And then there's my mallet. I don't need any more fasteners, so I'm gonna close that. Now I have my pegboard and I have my mallet. And we're all done.